Hi guys, welcome back to Lifestyle Love. So not that long ago I made you guys a video called How to Build a Capsule Wardrobe. And in that video I went through the pers my personal, I guess, rules and principles and steps that I follow that enabled me to build my own personal capsule wardrobe so that I had, I guess, get the most out of my wardrobe and really enjoy getting up in the morning and getting dressed and um, I guess expressing my own individual sense of um, style and appreciation of fashion. Now in that video one of the most important steps I talk about is the culling and analysis stage and that is where you or I recommend that you pull everything out of your wardrobe and go through each piece of clothing put back in the wardrobe what you love but then go through the mistakes of what things that you're throwing away or getting rid of so that you understand where you went wrong and I don't make the same mistakes again and don't waste your precious money. I also recommend in that video that you go through all the pieces that you absolutely love and get a really good understanding of why you love each individual piece like what it is you know actually articulating and defining what it is about each piece of clothing that you know makes you feel good about yourself you know reason why you enjoy putting it on so that when you do go shopping you have a, a greater understanding of your individual style and tastes and appreciation of fashion and again you know only buy pieces that you love value and appreciate and essentially you know saving money that way. So for this video I wanted to explore and talk about the culling and analysis in a, a deeper level so that you can get the most out of your wardrobe and the, the key pillars or foundations of your capsule wardrobe can really come forth and um, give you a much uh, I guess stronger sense of your individual style and love of fashion and individuality in the way that you express yourself through your clothes in the world. So it goes without saying, obviously clothing that is falling apart, has stains on it, doesn't fit anymore, you know, of course you get rid of those things. But when it comes to clothing that you're getting rid of that are worn out or tired looking, and I'm assuming that they're, you know, they were well-made items of clothing, that is actually a, a positive sign because it shows you you've actually have shop well because you've gotten lots of value out of that item of clothing you've really enjoyed wearing it and you know you've got your dollars per wear out of that clothing so that is a green light I guess you I could say to go ahead and replace it but analyze and articulate and define what it is about that item of clothing that you love so much so that you follow that guideline or, or principles of that item of clothing when you go to replace it. So the second step is to take each item of clothing and try it on and stand in front of a mirror and see how it looks on you. And this is particularly important if you're someone who, you know, exercises because our body shapes may have changed um, and the fit might be a little bit better or a little bit worse. And also with different changes of seasons, you know, if our skin is adjusted, you know, certain um, tones may look good in different seasons. So actually try on each item of clothing rather than just looking at it and going through it, you know, in a rush manner. You need to take your time doing this. Next step while you're trying on each individual piece of clothing is to see how it fits physically. Do you feel comfortable in it? Is it too tight in certain areas? Is the fabric soft on your skin or rough on your skin? You know, can the item of clothing potentially be altered to make you, you know, enjoy wearing the item of clothing more? And a classic example I want to share with you guys is this is a Zimmerman, um, maxi dress. Now I actually, um, whenever I wore this dress, I mean I liked it but I didn't love it and the reason why I didn't like it because I felt like I was wearing a, a bit of a tent because I'm quite a curvaceous person. I've got, as my dad calls them, childbearing hips and I felt like it really made me look a lot bigger and I, just, when I, I was very sort of selective as to when I'd actually go and wear this. But when I actually tried this dress on and I was sort of umming and ahhing about whether I'd get, keep it or get rid of it, I decided to play around with it and I actually put a belt around it and I ended up loving this dress again, like falling in love with it again and really actually, it's been actually a really great staple piece in my wardrobe but that I've, I've actually started to wear a lot more and dress up and dress down with different items in my wardrobe where I put like a blazer over the top um, or a different type of heel and it really transforms the look of the outfit but it wasn't until I actually tried it on and played around with this item of clothing and, and tried to, I guess I styled it in a different way that it made me sort of fall in love with this piece all over again and it's actually, I'm so glad I never got rid of this. The next step is to think about how that individual piece works with other um, items of clothing in your wardrobe. So the whole idea of a capsule wardrobe is that 
you know, you have minimal um, pieces in your wardrobe, but they're investment pieces and they work um, harmoniously with other pieces in your wardrobe. So like the skirts, um, all the tops match a variety of different bottoms and vice versa. So, and you know, you look at it from a, a style perspective and cut, but also from a, a color palette perspective. So you need to look at it and sort of, I guess, rule out any um, rogue pieces of clothing that just don't match or, or go with anything in your wardrobe and really consider whether it's worth holding onto them or whether they're just a waste of space in your wardrobe. The next thing when you're culling and analyzing your wardrobe is to look at each item of clothing and go, does this reflect my individual style and taste and appreciation of fashion? As I've explained in previous videos, I used to have a really bad habit of seeing an amazing outfit on somebody and thinking they just look like a million dollars and incredibly beautiful and elegant and I'd go and try and buy that outfit myself and I'd just look like a clown. And I would waste so much money and also so much time like hunting around for that outfit. It was just a little bit sad. So really look and go, is this me or does this, this item of clothing really belong to somebody else's style that I quite liked? And when I look back at those moments where I've seen those, that those people in those beautiful outfits, that's their individual style. I should just admire it from afar and think, wow, that's what a beautiful outfit they've got. It should stay on them and their style. So ask yourself, you know, does this reflect who I am, what I like about fashion, my sense of style, my appreciation of, you know, what's in, in style at the moment and the way I want to express myself. So the second last question to ask yourself in the culling and anal analyzing process is, does this item of clothing match my, realistically match my activities? And I'll share with you an example where I got it very, very wrong is I bought this um, r incredibly expensive ball gown. It was very, very heavy and beaded. And it was, you know, I, I loved trying it on the shop. I felt very glamorous and beautiful and elegant. But the reality is, is I never go to balls. Um, and I very rarely go to extremely dressed up black tie events. So it, I got to a point where I decided I feel guilty every time I looked at it in my wardrobe and I ended up selling it on eBay. But I haven't wasted any more money on expensive ball grounds since, so I'm really glad I took that step and, and was, you know, quite harsh in getting rid of it. So the final question I ask myself when I'm doing a culling and analyzing um, detox of my wardrobe, and you, you'll have different sort of ways of, of asking yourself this question, but how would you feel if you're wearing that item of clothing and you bumped into, say, um, an ex-boyfriend or, you know, a bully from school or someone that really intimidated you and wasn't very nice or made you feel uncomfortable or maybe an old boss that you absolutely hated? And before you think, oh, wow, that sounds incredibly materialistic, superficial and shallow, I'm not talking about looking you know, uber glamorous and, and um, you know, dressed up all the time. That's not actually what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how does that item of clothing, you know, make you feel? You know, you should put on that item of clothing and feel confident and happy. And I want to share with you one of my favorite items of clothing that I've had for so many years. It's my um, navy blue sloppy joe. And this has got bleach stains all over it. It's actually filthy. I think that's maybe even toothpaste. Um, and it's falling apart, um, it's really tired, and I wear this with jeans, um, I wear this to walk the dogs, I wear this to the gym, I sometimes even wear this to bed, and I'll wear this to the supermarket. And if I was to, say, bump into an old boyfriend that broke my heart and I was wearing this, I'd be totally fine because when I wear this, I feel really happy, I feel it really reflects my style, it's my favourite colour. And it just works with so many things in my wardrobe. I just don't care who sees me in this. So the question is, I guess, you know, how do you feel if you bumped into, I guess, your biggest or worstest enemy? And the whole principle behind it is how does it make you feel inside? So that's it for this video. Um, good luck with minimizing your wardrobe. Enjoy the process because and, you know, it, it's such a liberating and um, interesting experience going through your wardrobe. It's nothing, something you don't rush into doing. It does take a couple of hours and it should be an enjoyable process and even get a friend to help you, you know, join in the process where you can help each other and actually articulate and define your individual style because by understanding that you're going to make much better shopping decisions and not waste your valuable hard earned cash. Now, please let me know how you go. I love hearing from you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it with any of your family members or friends or school friends or work friends. And don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram at sugarmama 
tv and you can also like us on Facebook and also every week I'm doing updates on Facebook telling you what videos I'm publishing that week so make sure you go and like us. Anyway I'm gonna go put on my favorite jumper and relax at home for the rest of the day. So have a good week guys and I will see you next week on either Money Monday or Lifestyle Love. Ciao! <laughs>